you do? Today, the moringa seeds came in. So I'm going to be planting these here in a minute. And I thought you guys might want to watch. Why are we going to watch? Hey guys, this is Simply Sustainable Food here. I just want to show you what I have learned trying to plant, sprout, and grow moringa from seeds. Um, so I tried a few different ways, a few different methods, and this is the way that works best for me. So, that's what I'm going to show you. So here's the seeds. They're in these weird looking pods with like three sides on them. With like paper, little paper wings on them. So all I do is I take these, I dump them in water, and I leave them in there for 24 to 48 hours. So it's real simple. Um, I leave them in there, and then after 24, 48 hours, I peel off the paper wings. Um, if I don't, they seem to mold a little bit more. Not too bad, but um, enough for me to give me reason to pull them off. So that's what I do first. After that, I take them and I put them, after I tear the little wings off, I put them in a Tupperware with a uh, wet paper towel in there. And these have been in there for three days. Let's see that. You can see, there I got a good little root going after three days. And so once that started, I plant them. And so when you plant them, you want to make sure that you just put them right under the surface. You don't want to plant them too deep. At first I was planting them like an inch. Um, I was getting about 30% actually growing. Um, so you don't want to plant them too deep. You just want to do them right under the surface. So just make a little hole for where the root goes. And you put the root down. I don't know if you can see, but right at the top of the root is where the sprout will come out. And so you want that part going up and you don't want it Daddy? too far down under the under the dirt. If I can get it straight. There we go. And then I might cover it with just a little bit of dirt just so it's not fully exposed but even that right there is going to be just fine uh, for it to grow and sprout. Do another one. Okay, so here's another one. The roots just getting started. Could wait another day or two, but it should be fine. Just plant it right under the surface. Again, I might put a little bit more dirt on that one. And then this one looks like a dud. Doesn't look like anything's starting to grow. Or the water never got to it. Usually there's a little hole on one side. But I'll just keep this in here and see what happens. But that's pretty much all I do. I might put a little dirt on top. Uh, keep them kind of moist. You don't want to overdo it. Because I don't think the Moringas like it when you overdo it. But... And then, in a week or two, you get something like this. And so, I've got like seven of them right now. I planted all of them except for this one into the ground. Uh, one of them I planted into the ground. It went into shock, lost all its leaves, but it's coming back now and it's starting to look good again. Uh, but all the rest are doing fine. They're probably maybe twice as big as this one and they're still only like a month and a half a month old maybe this one is right around three weeks so they're doing fine they don't like to be too wet uh, so I water them every other day to every few days but 
that's how I've had the most success um, with the Moringas. I've tried a few different ways and they just weren't working for me. So uh, that's that. I'll give you an update when I'm ready to prune and harvest them. But for right now, that's how I grow them from seed. So this is Simply Sustainable Food and thanks for watching.